for you, those of you who don't know me, I'm Derek Stevens from the cigarette store. I'm going to go over today a few things, wear items, to make it easier to relate with customers when they come in to ask for stuff. Because a lot of times they don't know exactly what they're coming after. A lot of times they send their wife, their kids, they don't know exactly. I'm going to try to make it a little bit easier. First of all, I'm going to start off with a, a draper head. It's an early serial number draper head. Shows some of the wear items, some of the stuff people might come in for. Just random stuff like that. So we'll start here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. We'll start off, and, and some of you guys, this is just going to be common knowledge. Some people, hopefully it helps. If it helps one person, we did our job. All right, starting off with the, the sickle sections. Uh, the, you're going to have a long short or a long long option. Hopefully if someone comes in for them, they're going to know the difference. The guards are the same way. There's also a long short and a long long. And there's also two different colors. You'll notice here there's a green one and a black one. One's a high wear. And, or, um, sorry, it's a, it's a hardened, supposed to be a last longer, cost a little bit more, worth the extra money, but some people don't want to pay it. These are also the hold downs. You might get some calls for those. Not a lot of them. Uh, these for the draper head, this here is called the stone dam. Here you got the draper belts. This one here is a 35 foot head, and I believe all four draper belts are the same on this one. Over here, this one here would be the center feed belt. Uh, there's actually an updated belt, so if someone orders one, it might look different. Don't worry about it, it's okay. Here we have the drum. This is, this is gonna be the, the drum fingers. On this particular, we're all draper heads, the drum fingers are a steel finger. If you have an actual auger head, it's going to be a full-fingered auger. The, au the auger fingers in that are poly, composite, plastic, whatever the heck you want to call them. But some older heads have steel fingers, and I think most of them update to a, a composite finger. Might cause some confusion with some people, but that's the way it works. And here we have the real fingers. Now there's three different styles of these real fingers. You see this one here has these plastic bats on them. The newer ones are a finger that's a little bit wider through here, and there's no bat, it's just a single finger. And then there's also ones that have steel fingers. There's not very many of those in our area that, that we have out there though. And then we'll go over here for the crop divider. Some people mess these up. And a lot of people will ask for these little yellow pieces on the end and they won't have any idea what to call them so if they call the little yellow point hopefully you'll know what they're talking about uh you also have in these reel you want to come over here i think we have bushings in these reels you can see it wiggles a little bit right there those have also changed to a different style where it's a one this is now two pieces plus a steel clamp that goes over it it updates to a one piece deal that is, has a hinge made in it and it just clamps over it and you get rid of this steel piece someone comes in for one it's going to look different they're going to question you on it uh, over here Someone says something about their wobble boxes. Your wobble box here, drive shaft here. If you're on a, an auger head, not a draper head, there will be a drive belt here, and there'll be a wobble box here with a knife head. A lot of people break those knife heads, and there's a bushing inside there. So if if they ask for the knife head or the actual sickle, it happens a lot. And now the sickles come in pieces instead of one big sickle like it used to. Also causes some confusion sometimes. Another thing people might come ask for is the poly pieces on the bottom of the head. This here, this yellow stuff is the poly piece. On these draper heads, a lot of, you can buy them just the poly piece and re-rivet it on, or you can buy the entire piece. There's not a huge price difference, I don't think. I'm not sure, but a lot of people just do it that way because it's easier. 
also back to the guards that I was saying now we got a better view of it you can see here there's two different styles of guards right here's one that has two of the guards on it with a short piece and you come over to here and it's one long piece one guard with two of the short guides and they alternate every other one so if someone comes in looking for guards find out if it's a two guard or a one guard piece because they alternate every one let's come over here here's another little tidbit if someone ever calls in like wanting to know, and you want to know what their serial number their draper head is there it is right there in the frame on the left hand side another common problem is when people plug these in they get dirt in there and they cut these seals and they leak what they're gonna say they want the the coupler on the head there's two different or on the not sorry they want the coupler on the multi coupler there's two different styles there's the big ones and the small ones there's three of the big ones two of the small ones you just have to ask them which one it is if maybe send both with them I don't know not bad to have spares of those on hand and on those dividers on the head this here's one for a new style for the crop dividers and this is here is an add-on it's a John this one here is actually a John Deere thing for a 700 series Draper head but for the 600 series I believe there's a John Deere one you can order if not I know there's a Lancota kit where you can take away that other long piece here that people complain about running over beans with and it just slides in here and it looks just like this.